The Federal and Valevin Hypermarket jointly present the Tutukudi Marathon 2024 to raise awareness on drug abuse. The event is co-presented by Edison Cardio Care Centre Tiruchendur, powered by L. Anand Jewellery and St. Mother Teresa Engineering College, Tutukudi. Mpox was first reported in 2022. The infection had spread to more than 100 countries, over lakhs of cases were registered and at least 150 people had succumbed to it. It caught the attention of the world and was declared an international emergency. Mpox has now resurfaced. The infection's ripples are still there. While the Mpox strain from 2022 did not take a toll on India, this might not be the case in 2024. In fact, the new strain is more transmissible and deadlier than before. Africa, where the outbreak began, is facing a severe crisis. The new strain has caused over 500 deaths and Africa's Centers for Disease Control has called for international assistance. According to the Africa CDC, Mpox has been detected in 13 countries this year. Over 96% of cases and deaths are concentrated in Congo. So far, more than 19,000 cases have been reported with 524 deaths. In Congo, nearly 70% of the cases are in children under 15, who also represent 85% of the deaths. To put this into perspective, during the global 2022 Mpox outbreak, which affected over 70 countries, fewer than 1% of those infected died. With Pakistan and Saudi declaring cases, experts are urging the Indian government to start screening at airports. Tamil Nadu has ordered its health officials to be on high alert. The problem is that currently, there is no specific treatment for Mpox. World Health Organization recommends supportive care and provides general guidelines such as medication for pain or fever for people who need it. But is India at risk? WHO data shows that in 2022, there were at least 27 confirmed monkeypox cases and one death in India. While there are no new cases yet, the risk remains due to potential travel-related spread. Monkeypox spreads primarily through close human-to-human -human contact. This includes exposure to large respiratory droplets, direct contact with body fluids or lesions, and indirect contact through contaminated clothing. It can be transmitted through face-to-face, skin-to-skin, mouth-to-mouth, or sexual contact with someone showing symptoms, which include fever, headache, and lymph node swelling, with skin eruptions appearing within two days of fever. The Union Health Minister is scheduled to hold meetings with officials from the Ministry of Health, the NCDC and the ICMR. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization is urging Mpox vaccine manufacturers to submit expressions of interest for emergency use listing as the situation in Africa worsens. The Federal and Valevin Hypermarket jointly present the Tutukudi Marathon 2024 to raise awareness on drug abuse. The event is co-presented by Edison Cardio Care Centre Tiruchendur, powered by L. Anand Jewellery and St. Mother Teresa Engineering College, Tutukudi.